This woman used human and animal genes to breed a new hybrid species in order not to give birth. Not only did she teach it to read and write, she also dressed it. This creature is treated better than me, but is this unknown creature really harmless? As husband and wife, Clive and Elsa are both biologists working in the field of recombinant DNA technology. Not long ago, they made a major breakthrough in the field of recombinant DNA technology, which means splicing human and animal genes. But the experiment was immediately rejected by their bosses. No one knows what the new species will bring, but they didn't want to give up. So the two of them secretly carried out the experiment without their boss's knowledge and successfully injected the gene into a vessel. Observing what happened inside every day, the embryo developed so quickly that it took only two days to take shape. Their strange behavior attracted the attention of their colleagues. But Clive fooled them. That day, the couple arrived at the lab to find the embryos showing signs of being born. Elsa rushes to deliver the hybrid, but it bites her arm. In desperation, Clive broke the glass cover. Elsa suddenly fell to the ground, foaming at the mouth and convulsing. Luckily, Clive was able to inject her with a serum. It was only then that the couple realized they had made a mistake by creating this creature and had to get rid of it before it grew up. When they returned to the lab, they found the embryo empty. Then there was a noise in the corner. Elsa turns her head and sees a creature that looks like a chicken but isn't one, cautiously peeking around the corner. Elsa is brave enough to take off her gloves and get up close and personal with it. Clive, who was outside the door, was shocked. Luckily, the monster was friendly. Elsa decided to raise it. Clive objected, but it was no use. And so the monster survived. But one day, a colleague broke into the lab and was tackled to the ground. But Elsa was able to stop it and it went to hide in the corner. Clive and Elsa realized the truth about the experiment had been compromised and came up with a bold plan. This medical hybrid monster is a combination of human and animal genes. Now it's running a 60 degree fever and twitching all over. The couple puts it in a cold pool to lower its temperature. When Clive saw the monster choking on the water, he suddenly forced the monster into the water. No matter how Elsa tried to stop him, Clive didn't let go. The monster stopped struggling. Just when the couple thought it was dead, the monster suddenly adapted to the underwater environment and began to breathe freely. The couple decided to leave it behind for further observation. But the monster grew so fast that it grew from a baby to the size of a five-year-old in half a month. When they dressed it up, it even looked like a human being. Although its body had grown, the development of its mind remained a mystery. Elsa spent a lot of time with him and taught him to do puzzles in order to develop his intelligence. The monster is a strong learner and memorized the words after just one look. Gradually, Elsa's motherly love grew and she stopped treating it as an experiment. But Clive always thought it was wrong and told Elsa to stay vigilant. It wasn't long before the monster grew again. The basement was now too small to hide it. The couple had to move it out of the lab overnight. After a bumpy ride, they arrived in unfamiliar surroundings. The creature was frightened and escaped into the forest. The couple rushed to find it with flashlights. When they found it a few hours later, they saw it feeding on a rabbit. The sight terrified them both, but after all, it was their own creation, so they had to live with it. In order to restrain it, Elsa locked the doors and windows to prevent it from going out. And the creature is gradually adapting to its new life, but the long hours of confinement made it boring, and it often Saturday in eight days. That night, he used the letters of the alphabet to make words to show that he wanted to go out, but Elsa rejected him. The creature was so angry that it overturned the table and began to wreak havoc in the house. Then it leapt through the skylight and escaped in front of the couple. It's a disaster. This spiky creature is an experiment in human and animal gene splicing. It spread its wings and was about to fly away. Clive rushes up to it and talks it down. Then they turn around and hugged each other. This scene puzzled his wife, Elsa, who had always thought her husband hated monsters. From that day on, Elsa noticed something. The monster had been secretly drawing Clive's face, but not hers. It made her wonder what had happened. Elsa subconsciously slapped it, but the monster's eyes turned black and it jumped on her. Its tail stinger was closing in on Elsa's throat. Luckily, the monster didn't hurt her, but only picked the key from her neck. Then the monster opened the door and tried to escape. Elsa appeared behind it and knocked it out with a shovel. She then performed a simple operation to remove the creature's tail spike. By the time Clive arrived, the operation was over. Clive was heartbroken as he watched the creature die. He stroked the creature's head and looked into its eyes. When Elsa arrived again, she saw this sick behavior. She was so frightened, she drove off in her car. Clive went after her to explain, I didn't realize that Elsa had not only forgiven him, but that she thought the monster was the cause of all this, and that she had to get rid of it. But before they could do that, the monster was dead. Even though the monster had cuckolded her, Elsa couldn't bear to kill it. After all, she raised it herself. At night, the two of them found a place to bury the monster's body. When they left, the monster suddenly came back to life. 
It turned out that the monster had faked its death. This time it evolved into a male, and it was more agile, and Elsa became its new target. Then the monster tackled her to the ground. At this critical moment, Clive arrived in time and hit it with a wooden stick, but he was killed by the creature's tail spike. Finally, Elsa ended the creature's life. What's amazing is that Elsa has a new baby in her belly. If anyone knows how the movie ends, please leave a comment.